built their kittens. Flippy built it. Hi, honey. Mm-hmm. No problem. See you soon. What did mom want? She wants me to make dinner, so I'll order pizza. Yay! Done. Let's make up a story until mom gets home. What about? About Flippy. And what should we call the story? Good idea, Flippy. We'll call it Beep, Beep, Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a robot named... Flippy! With his stretchy arms and tools, Flippy could be very handy. One day, Flippy saw a commercial on TV about Beaver Bob. Do you like to build? Are you handy with tools? Then Beaver Bob wants you on Beaver Bob's Building Brigade! Yes, you! I want to build, too! Yeah! I'm sure Beaver Bob would love to have us in his building brigade. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Hi, Bob. We heard you're looking for builders. I sure am. Then we're your kitties. Great! I want you two to work with Flippy here as a team. What do we do first? Hang this swing nice and low so little kids can get on it. Let's do, do it! it. Here are your tools. Hold them, Flippy. Ow! I said hold it! Oh, ow! Ooh, I, ooh. <laughs> Make sure to hang it nice and low, Flippy, like Bob said. Hmm. That swing is way too high. I told you to hang it low. We told him to hang it low. Okay, we'll fix the swing later. For now, let's try moving on to your next job. I need you to attach the slide over here and build a ladder back there so kids can climb up to the platform. Go, go, go! Now, Flippy, make it tall so it reaches all the way up to the platform. Tall. Understand? Great. We'll go attach the slide. Slides in place, just like I told you. Now let's take a look at the ladder. That's one fine ladder for a dollhouse, but it's too small for the slide. We told Flippy to make a tall ladder. Can't we just work without Flippy? No, you're a team. You need to figure out how to communicate with each other. I'll give you one more chance. Fill up the sandbox. Kate, maybe we should speak slower? Flippy? Stand up. Tall. <laughs> okay. Stay right there. He does the opposite every time. Hey, wait a second. If we ask Flippy to do the opposite of what we want, maybe he'll do what we really want. Yeah, let's try it. Flippy, be very quiet. <laughs> All right! To the sandbox! The sand has to be dumped inside, so we'll tell Flippy the opposite. Flippy, please dump the sand outside of the sandbox. Yes! Well done! So you figured out how to work together? Yeah, watch! Flippy, hang the swing high up, please. Just a little higher, okay? Good job, Building Brigade. Wait, I mean, bad job, Flippy. Great story, Dad. You mean lousy, right? Hi, everybody. Where's dinner? Pizza time! Works every time. If you want Dad to order pizza, just ask him to make dinner. <laughs> go, 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 go. Where will we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun.
Everybody ready for the beach? Yeah! But in the sun, here we come. Aw, uh, we can't go swimming when there's lightning outside. No fair, Grandpa! We've been planning this forever. This was going to be the best day. Now it's the worst. I'm sorry, kittens, but this is out of my control. I'll tell you what. Maybe we could make up a special big story. About fuzzicles? Yeah, fuzzicles who got to do just what they planned. Okay, and what should we call this story? I know. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there were some fuzzicles who loved to go to... The dentist. No, to concerts. And today they were planning to see their favorite singer. Fuzzy Fuzzbottom! <laughs> but just when they were about to leave, a tree fell right on the car. And they couldn't go to the concert after all. The end. No problem, Grandpa. They didn't even need the car. Right. They could just walk there. Oh. But when they got to the bridge, it collapsed for no reason. And so the Fuzzicles stayed home and ate soup. The end. No. Kate and I totally got this, Grandpa. We'll take them ourselves. Yeah. In a kitty copter. A kitty copter? Yeah. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties. Let's go. Nothing can stop us now. That's what they thought. Because just then, it started raining. No problem. The kitty copter can fly through rain. Uh-uh. It started raining cheese balls. Whoa! It's a cheese ball hurricane. Our pierogi blasters are overwhelmed. We'll have to land this thing and wait until it stops. Good thinking, Kate. Looks like that was the last cheese ball. Nope, there was still one more. Ready for that soup now? No, we got this. We'll just have to walk to the concert from here. Come on, Fuzzicles. We'll be there in no time. But then suddenly a giant scary monster stepped out of the forest and blocked their way. You'll never get past me. Don't worry, I got this. Ah! A monster! <laughs> Way to go, Kate! Let's hurry! We can still make it on time! See? I told you nothing could stop us. Are you ready? <laughs> then let's hear it for the fuzziest part of them all! Fuzzy! The concert was canceled. I'm sorry, you guys, but there's nothing we can do. And after the Fuzzicles put on their own concert, they went home and ate a delicious dinner. Soup? With a side order of cheese balls. <laughs> Sure 
It's 365 days. Oh, that's so long. How long now? It's still 365 days. Oh, I wish I could have a birthday every day. Yeah, me too. With a party every day. Fun. That's a great idea for a story called Every Day's a Birthday. <laughs> Once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel decided to have a birthday every day. And I'm going to go first. And I'm tomorrow. Fantastic. We've got everything we need. Uh, what about guests? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we can be the guests. Yeah, but we need a present. How about this harmonica? Perfect. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Happy birthday, Hansel! Thank you. Who wants to play a game? <gasps> Pin the tail on the elephant? I love that game! <laughs> Watch and learn, Kate. I'm the best at this. <laughs> yeah, you're the best. Oops. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hansel. Happy birthday to you. Oh, hooray! <laughs> Wonderful. Have some cake. Thanks. Yummy. Mm. I could eat this every day. Time to open your present. Oh, yeah! I love birthdays. Great! Because tomorrow is my turn for a birthday. And then mine. And then mine. And so the next day, Gretel celebrated her special day. Surprise! Oh, a party? I had no idea. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gretel. Happy birthday to you. And many more. And so the next day, and the next day, and the next day, it was party time. Again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Thirty birthdays later. Good morning, Kit. Your turn. Again? Mm, I think the elephant has enough tails now. Let me guess. Another harmonica. Ugh. Oh no, not more cake. Yeah. Can I have something else? Like a salad? Sorry. All we have is cake. This doesn't feel special anymore. That's because special isn't special if it isn't special. So true. So true. Maybe tomorrow we can just have a normal day? Yeah. Porridge and then the park. Yay! Yay! Normal day! Why didn't we think of this 29 birthdays ago? I guess a birthday every day isn't such a great idea. Yeah, because then it won't be special. Don't worry. There are lots of other special days in the year, like Christmas. Yeah! What is that? In four months. That's like forever, too. How about now? Is it closer now? <laughs> <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. 
make up a story? Sorry, kittens. I dropped my gold earring down the drain, and I have to get it out. Oh. Well, I'm sure you'll find an idea. And if you get hungry, I'll leave a snack for you in the kitchen. Pickles? Pickles? Ugh. I don't know how you can keep eating those things. Good luck with your story. But we don't have any ideas. There's one right there. What? A story called Two Kittens Who Couldn't Make Up a Story. Ugh. Uh. Once upon a time, there were two kittens who, um, couldn't make up a story. So they just sat on the sofa. Until Kate decided it was snack time. So the kittens walked to the kitchen. Where they found a plate of pickles. And candies. A whole trail of them. The kittens followed the candy trail all the way to their toy box. Let's look in the box. In the box, the kittens found a rocket ship. And a treasure map. So they decided they would blast off into outer space. And find the buried treasure on planet Red. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. The fearless kittens zipped and zoomed around the planets until suddenly... There it is, Kate. Planet Red! Land the rocket! I don't know how. We'll have to parachute down. Great idea, Kit! Uh, Kate, our rocket's flying away. Now we have no way to get home. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. Look, Kate, here's the path. I told you it was a great idea. That's the end of the line. What do we do now? Uh, dig? Where? I'm thinking here. That's probably a good idea. <coughs> a golden pickle! Hey, what's going on? Whoa! You stole our golden pickle. We didn't steal it. We were just following this map we found. Ha! I should have known that pickle-hating, gold-loving space pirate stole our pickle. Who? Yellow shirt. That isn't just some golden treasure. That pickle energizes our galaxy's pickle farm on planet green. If we don't get it back there, all of our pickle trees will die. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go save those pickles. Hurry, before it's too late. Thank you, kittens. The galaxy is safe once again for pickle lovers everywhere. How can I repay you? Could you return us to our home? Gladly. And have a pickle. They're the best in the universe. Thanks! And so the aliens zapped the kittens back home right where they started. The end. Mm, these really are the best pickles in the whole universe. Hey, you found your earring. Yeah, and I see you found the pickles. Not just pickles, we found Yellow Shirt's treasure map. And it led us into outer space. Huh, for two kittens with no ideas, it sounds like you two found quite an adventure. Yeah, it was amazing. Thanks, Thanks Yellow, Yellow Shirt. Shirt. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> What will we do? Who will we see? It's 
flying right now. Huh. Maybe you're not a bat. Maybe you're a chicken. Am not. Are too. Bark, bark, bark. You know, Kit, bats do other cool things, like climbing. So climb on down here, and we can make up a story. Okay. About a ghoul? Yeah, who was very cool. And we can call the story The Cool Ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a really cool ghoul with sunglasses and a rockin' band. I'm so cool, I'm so cool. I'm a rockin' and a rollin', I'm a real cool ghoul. I got some rockin' glasses, I got a rockin' band. I'm the coolest ghoul rockin' across the land. You know, we'd sound even cooler with a couple of cool guitar players. Hey, that could be us. We're cool. Way cool. Wang! Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go! Yo, we heard you're looking for some cool guitar players. So, what do you say? Can we join? Can we? Can we? <laughs> of course. If you pass the cool test. What's that? You just have to do whatever cool thing I dare you to. <laughs> Cool. Let the daring begin. I dare you to go up to my neighbor over there and say, uh, okay. okay. Yes. Boogity, 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 boo. Hey there, pal. How do you do? How do I do? Just fine, thank you. <laughs> That's good. good. Bye. There, we did it. Are we in? In? The test has just begun. If you're really cool, you'll put your paws in here. I dare you. Don't worry, Kit. Earthworms don't bite. They're harmless. Nothing personal, worms. But it's kind of gross. <laughs> There. Are we in now? Getting closer. Then just tell us what to do. We'll do anything you want. Anything? Then climb over that fence and take an apple from the farmer's tree. I dare you. Wait. This is just stealing. You're right, kid. What? I thought you were cool. We are. But we don't want to do this. Really? Then here's one last test to prove if you're really cool. I double dare you to fill this anthill with water and then stomp on it. But that anthill, it's their home. I wouldn't want someone to destroy our home. What are you afraid of? I thought you were cool cats. But maybe you're just scaredy chickens. <coughs> we're not afraid. We just don't think it's right to hurt those ants. Yeah. That's not cool at all. Hey, where are you going? I thought you wanted to be in the cool crew. What do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> I mean, you passed the test. <coughs> it's cool to do things that are fun or silly, but nobody that's cool would ever steal or hurt anyone. Welcome to the cool crew. We're, we're so cool. cool. We're so cool. We're a rockin' and a rollin' with some new cool rules. We got some rockin' glasses. We got a rockin' band. We're the cook 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 cool with rules rockin' across the land. Great story, Dad. Kittens. Back here, Mom. Mom's coming. Act like a monkey bat and do a silly dance for her. We dare you. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs>